We know that millions of people around the world are hoping for cleaner, renewable energy sources. And as fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas drive climate change, as reported by the United Nations, engineers are looking for answers in unexpected places like the moon. Well, maybe not the moon itself, but its power, lunar energy, the moon's unseen force of gravity stirring the oceans, creating tidal waves and currents. And there, engineers may find hope. Engineers across various sectors have discovered some remarkable renewable energy sources, starting with the ocean. Monesto is a marine energy technology developer founded in 2007. The company has operations in Wales, the Faroe Islands, Northern Ireland, and Taiwan, with its headquarters in Gothenburg, Sweden. Monesto's 25-ton Dragon 12 Tidal Energy Kite uses lift generated by tidal flows to fly patterns faster than ocean currents, harvesting renewable energy. Just as land-based wind energy kites fly in figure patterns to accelerate faster than the wind, so does the Dragon 12 with water. The Dragon 12 is attached to a seabed or anchoring system using a durable tether that allows the wing to move freely underwater while keeping it anchored. Along the tether, the Dragon 12 has an integrated power cable that runs from the onboard generator located on the wing through the tether connecting to the seabed. This cable is used to transmit the electricity generated by the turbine in the wing back to the connection point on the seabed. Operators monitor and control the system remotely, ensuring efficiency and quick response to changing conditions. In February of this year, for the first time, the Dragon 12 delivered electricity to 1,000 homes in the Faroe Islands. And after two weeks of testing, the Dragon 12's functionality was verified and the power production performance was deemed satisfactory as projected. Nikola Tesla dreamed of plucking electricity right out of thin air. And while you may not like humidity, turns out there's a massive amount of energy in the atmosphere, enough to power the world 500 times over. In the first season of The Circuit, we briefly covered the Air Gen, a way to harvest clean energy straight from the air. But with new developments, we decided to take a more in-depth look at this exciting technology. In 2020, a team of engineers at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, led by John Yao and microbiologist Derek Lovely, they unveiled their Air Gen device, which continuously collected electricity from humidity using a material grown from bacteria. However, last year, the researchers reported in the journal Advanced Materials that there have been advancements with the air gen. Now, a specific material isn't necessary. Just about any material works, like wood or silicon. The air gen involves two electrodes and a thin layer of material, which must be punctured with ultra-small holes, less than 100 nanometers in diameter. That's thinner than one thousandth the width of a human hair. As water molecules pass through the device from an upper chamber to a lower chamber, they knock against the tiny hole's edges, creating an electric charge imbalance between the layered chambers. Basically, the device runs like a battery. In order to make scalability a reality, it would take about a billion air gins at the current size to produce a kilowatt of energy, only enough to partially power a home. Yao previously stated that given the lack of material limitations, and the amount of electricity in the air, there's a basis for broad scale power. All it takes is making air gen bigger so it can generate enough electricity to power our everyday lives. The Dragon 12 kite harnesses wind energy with remarkable agility as the air gen uses natural humidity to generate electricity. Both renewable energy sources offer groundbreaking solutions. So as engineers refine these technologies, Hopefully, they will inspire others to take the plunge into renewable energy. And if you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news.